the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 87, Ruth 1-4 Embodiment of a beautiful law The story of Ruth, which occurred in the small village of Bethlehem during the year of Judges, was a beautiful story in which the law of God manifested in the scene of our actual life. First point. The story of Loth was the story of a kingdom of priests. The story of Loth shows how God's society can have people who are sophisticated and kind. The story starts with a family in Bethlehem. Abimelech's family left their hometown and moved to Moab to escape famine. Abimelech and Naomi made their two sons marry Moab women, but not long afterwards, Naomi's husband and two sons all died. This forced Naomi to return to God. Naomi returned to Bethlehem and told her daughters-in-law to go back to their families. But Ruth insisted on staying with Naomi. When Ruth arrived in Bethlehem, she went out to the fields of another person to pick crops for her and for her mother-in-law. But coincidentally, the field that she went to was the field of Boaz. This was God's blessing and guidance. Boaz greeted his workers in the way of a kingdom of priests and lived completely different to all the others during those times. All in all, this story tells of a story of a kingdom of priests and the beauty of its proper implementation. Second point, Naomi used the laws in a kingdom of priests in an unconventional way. Land was inherited to each family, and the cultivation right was theirs for sale until Jubilee, when it became possible to retrieve it. This was a law God gave for economic flexibility. But Naomi's family abused this to escape famine and thought that moving to Moab would give them economic advantages. But after 10 years, Naomi was left with no husband, no sons, and no money. Naomi then cried to God and confessed that even the laws of liberator in a kingdom of priests could not save her now. At this, Opa left, but Ruth stayed by Naomi until the end and returned to Bethlehem. But Naomi once again used the laws of a kingdom of priests in an unconventional way by seeing whether Ruth may be able to get married according to the Labellato laws. Ruth obeyed her mother-in-law. When Boaz found her under his suits, he was very surprised. However, Boaz made sure that all was done according to the laws of a kingdom of priests. This all happened because Naomi used the laws in an unconventional way. Third point. Boaz obeyed the laws of a kingdom of priests. Boaz greeted his workers in the way of a kingdom of priests. Boaz also told his workers to not reap the edges of their field so that the poor may be able to comfortably take the crops. This was also according to the law of a kingdom of priests. Boaz was someone who lit up the dark times when no one else would practice kindness. When Boaz found Ruth beneath his suits, he once again acted according to the law. Fourth point, the city wall trials were decided 
based on civil and criminal law of a kingdom of priests. The kingdom of priests was operated by the priests, the Levites, and the elders of Israel. In the case where there was to be a trial, these people were to come and be the judge. In the case of Naomi and Ruth, we needed to look into the city world trial laws of Bethlehem. This involved the elders gathering for trial in front of the city walls, and this covered both civil and criminal laws. Now we look at Boaz's city world trial. Boaz first mentioned the laws regarding property. The content of the Redeemer of Land Law can be found in Leviticus 25, verses 25 to 27. Boaz claimed that according to the laws of property, the Redeemer needed to take care of Naomi. He furthermore mentioned that the property in question had belonged to Abimelech ten years ago. To this, the first guardian redeemer claimed that he will buy it. Here, Boaz mentioned the laws regarding Levite. The guardian redeemer would have to marry Ruth and give the child who will be born to Naomi. Boaz said, On the day you buy the land from Naomi, you also acquire Ruth the Moabite the dead man's widow, in order to maintain the name of the dead with his property. What does this mean? In order for us to understand this, we must know the contents of both the property law and the laws of liberator in a kingdom of priests. Here, the first guardian redeemer quickly renounces his right. The truth is that the first guardian redeemer had only considered taking on the old Naomi and avoiding the loss of property and the life right and to increase his wealth. But when he heard that he would have to take Ruth and his wife and continue Naomi's line, he feared for his financial loss and did not hesitate to admit this to Boaz. He, like Naomi had done, tried to abuse the laws of a kingdom of priests in an unconventional way. We can see that Boaz did all that he could to set up things all according to the laws of a kingdom of priests. Fifth point, the foreigner Ruth became blessed and her name reappears in the genealogy in Matthew chapter 1. In the midst of a dark society, a foreign woman named Ruth was able to receive God's blessing by keeping the laws of the kingdom of priests. Ruth's focus was on protecting her elderly mother-in-law and also serving God. Eventually, Ruth was able to receive everyone's praise. Ruth, moreover, reappears in the genealogy of Jesus in Matthew chapter 1. Salmon, the father of Boaz, whose mother was Lehab, Boaz, the father of Obed, whose mother was Ruth, Obed, the father of Jesse, and Jesse, the father of King David. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones, the Tong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does, the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Dot Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans. 
to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel the healing that comes from mouth to mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app. 